What is your message to Kamala Harris, your opponent today? Oh, um, I'd say Kamala Harris. If, if only Kamala Harris would, would tell the truth, if only she would tell the truth. It's clear that many people by her advisors, by her donors, she has more billionaire donors ever than on record. Uh, you know, she has the Democratic elites circled around her once again, promising hope and change. We've been there before. Uh, you know, I would encourage Kamala Harris to wake up and actually see the state of our world, which she does not recognize, does not see, and does not intend to serve. So I would urge her to get out of the way or to get with the program and start to serve the American people, beginning with, we could see a real sign of her, um, you know, of her uh, coming over to the needs of the American people and the people of the world. She will go to say right now to Israel that the weapons supply is over for Israel unless they will immediately terminate uh, the, the war on the people of Gaza and the occupation. That would be an act of good faith that I think would restore uh, uh, the faith that she has not earned yet. And I don't expect her to because she's not a young woman. You know, she's not a new uh, person on the scene here. Uh, she's a woman, what, uh, almost 50, uh, and she has a so it's not like she's some newcomer. We know who she is, who supports her, and who she is. This is not what the people of America or the people of Gaza or the people of the world are doing right now.